All right, I don't know if you can see my whole face. Probably not. So just that. All right, this is take two. Camera shut off and wouldn't turn back on. So let's see if this works better. We're going to call this Welcome to Cooking with Jojo. <laughs> finger guns, because finger guns are awesome. Today, let's adjust this and hope we're still running. All right. We're going to make pulled pork, which is apparently frozen. I knew that. You didn't know that. And in the shape it is, it's not going to fit in here. So we're just going to deal with that. And this, I hope to teach you little tricks that I've learned in my many years of cooking in kitchens. And just show you what I'd like to eat. We're going to braise this with apples, some onion, some garlic, some apple cider. Yum! And some apple cider vinegar. I don't have a specific recipe, I just kind of do it till it feels good. Sure. And there's Big Mike. Hey, we are making a mess. Yeah, we'll do that. Then drink some. Yum. Usually, if you smash it hard enough, they break apart. Nice and easy. Ah, oh, there we go. That worked better. I learned from some chef on TV. Put your garlic in something hard, cover it with another hard piece. This is not working. This is a total failure.
Maybe it's because this is kind of old. Another tip, trick, whatever. Take the side of your knife, smack it down. Comes out nice and easy, it's all smashed up. Ignore the cat. Not really sure what he wants right now. Get down! Maybe we should call it cooking with Jojo and Mike. Cooking with Jojo featuring Mike. <laughs> you might think I'm crazy and be like, Jojo, you don't need that much garlic. And to that, I'd say you're right. I don't know how much you need. I don't care. I love garlic. When I don't smash the crap out of it, I will pick it out of there and eat the giant chunks of garlic. Like, if this was whole and not all smashed up, after it's done cooking, I'd pop it in my mouth and be like, yum! Boom. Now we're going to have to rinse this stuff because garlic is extremely sticky. So when I do onion for this, I cut the top and the bottom off, I'll chop it in half, peel it, and I'll take this half. Someday I'll show skills like how to use the knife, but I'll just slice it into nice little rounds. And normally this fits in there a lot better. And this piece, you can put in some soil or a tiny bit of water, and you can grow more onions.
Now for some apples. One tip, you don't want to cut your fucking fingers off because that's fucking bullshit. You're supposed to hold your hands kind of like this and put your knife along your knuckles. Just showing, I don't know, you cut like that. Not that good, so I always try, you keep your thumb back too. Always keep your thumb back because... If you have it up here, you're just going to chop the fucker off. I mean, if you don't want your thumb, chop the fucker off. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. But if you want to keep the thumb, keep your fucking thumb back. I try to keep it behind my fingers. That way, I never chop that motherfucker off because I play video games. I like to grab things. I need this. And I like to do this. If I didn't have this, I couldn't do this. That would fucking suck. And boom! We are going to turn that on and get it started. And once this thaws a little, I'll cram it in there a little better. Normally, I chop a lot of this fat off, but it's frozen. Wishing I didn't do that. Now I have to wash this so I can fucking cut my other apple. But whatever. We'll deal with that. And we'll come back to this and few hours. I'll check everything. I'll stir it up a little. Make sure there's enough fluids in there. And then, in about seven or eight hours, they'll all be done cooking. And it'll just fall apart in there. And I'll just pull it out and put it in containers and add barbecue sauce and some of it. And some of it I'll just put it in my mouth and ah, it's so good. So yeah. Boom. Part one of Cooking with Jojo featuring Mike Mike. Mike Mike! We'll be back. Alright, back. Finished. So let's get this all turned out. It's kind of another day. Kind of. Kind of cooked for a lot. Long time. Oops. It's a good thing this has a shut off.
not as good as my other batches. Still, pretty good. That's also the top portion that isn't under the liquid. So I just pulled it apart. And I add some of the juices to keep it moist. And I will keep it like this until I'm ready to put it in the sandwich. Then pull some out, put it on the sandwich, add some barbecue sauce, and eat it. Delicious. Yum. And we'll say that's good for cooking with Joe Dad today. Featuring Mike Mike. We'll have to figure out how to do this a little better eventually, but that's number one.